The party is over for loitering public servants. Those are the words of newly elected Premier of the Northwest Province, Professor Job Mohoro. But does he have what it takes to turn things around? And will he enjoy the support of the entire ANC-led alliance in that province? The Politburo is now in session. A very warm welcome to you. I'm Olim Gambi. And in the studio to discuss the state of the ANC and governance in the Northwest, I'm joined by SAC secretary in that particular province, Madota Samata. But first, let's listen to the ANC leadership announcing the appointment of Professor Job Mohoro as Premier-elect of the Northwest Province. He replaces Supra Maumapilo. He's here. Uh, indeed, he's 70 years old. Uh, but you can see, see he has the energy to go and stabilize the situation there. And you needed somebody who could be uh, welcomed by everybody. Uh, and I think in our wisdom, and that's why the NWC decision is unanimous, because you want somebody uh, who can actually engage everybody and ensure that there is unity and renewal during this period. And we want to confirm here today that uh, as the PEC, we will be supporting unashamedly, without any ambiguousness. We will relentlessly support the new Premier, who is deployed by the African National Congress, Professor Mukhoro. We will, uh, as the officials in the province, the PWC and the PC, be working with him. We will also be inviting him to be part of the structures of the organization in an ex officio uh, capacity so that we can make sure that we strengthen the links and the communication among ourselves. All right, uh, let's uh, get this discussion on the road then. Uh, Secretary, thank you very much for your time. I want to kick off this interview by uh, taking you back to what um, the leader of the ANC in the Northwest has just said. He says that they're going to be supporting Mr. Job Mohoro unashamedly and um, they're going to give him his full support. Do you think Supra Mapilo is genuine? Thank you, Kuli, uh, and the listeners. As the South African Communist Party, we had welcomed the appointment of Professor Mukhoro as a replacement to Comrade Supra Mahumapilo. So no province will ever be happy to have an unwanted premier, but also no province would ever be happy to have a permanent area where the premier is not appointed. Now that the premier is appointed, we are happy. But what we want to caution it's a situation where individuals who, in terms of the structures, had contributed to the collapse of the governance in the province, both the provincial government and municipalities. And as a result of that, our province is under Section 100. And then the same individuals take responsibility to channel those that are appointed with the responsibility to rescue the provincial government. So the ANC, as said by the chair, that is going to support him. But Professor Mukhoro must accept that he's appointed by the National Executive Committee on the basis of rescuing a collapsing provincial government that individuals who are in the PEC of the ANC had contributed to its corrupts. And on the basis of that, he must take responsibility without subjecting himself to the same control of the same individuals who collapsed the government. But how does he do that? How, how, does he, um, how does he not subject himself to that same control when it is said, and repeatedly so by the ANC, that it is the center of power. So in the Northwest, the center of power is within that provincial uh, political office. And who leads it? It's Supra Maumapil. The same control of the provincial government that I'm talking about and the PEC, 
The ANC's responsibility is not to micromanage government. The responsibility of the ANC structures is to give political guidance to governments. In this instance, what we are calling for is that it must not be micromanagement on the basis that you have a PEC intact and you have a premier appointed who is not a chair of the ANC. This must almost function equally like in matured provinces in South Africa, take Gauteng for instance, Makura was never micromanaged by the current national treasurer when he was chair. In Northern Cape, uh, the premier was never micromanaged by the current chair. So the issue is that the control of the ANC structures to government, it's not micromanagement, it's giving direction, but the provincial government as a site of state has to stand up. In this instance, Professor Mukhoro should lead without fear of micromanagement by a political structure. Talk to me about uh, Professor Mukhoro himself, therefore. Is he the man to turn things around? Do you have a problem with his age, perhaps? I mean, he is 70 years old. No, Tony, I think that the issue of age in this instance is used for chauvinistic reasons. I do not even understand why the SG had to confirm an age when introducing a candidate. Because necessarily, the issue first issue is not age the first issue is capacity mm. to lead age is then used on the basis of assessing whether you're going to stand the test of time going forward in leading so 70 years and 50 years of supra has no difference the issue is that professor muhoro has capacity both administratively mm -hmm. and capacity politically this is a former regional chair of a region that was stretching from Mafikeng to North, Northern Cape at a particular time. But this is a well-established administrator in the province and nationally. So he has capacity to lead. He just has to stand up and deal with the challenges that we are having in the province. The added advantage to him is that Professor Mukhoro has been with the provincial government since 2015. Which does so not absolve knows. him, therefore. Can I come in there? I'm sorry to, 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 to butt in, but which does not absolve him, therefore, of the collapse that you speak about in that province, uh, in, in government? Let me tell you, Tole, about the realities with Northwest Provincial Government. Uh -huh. Take, for instance, the MEC of Health. He has been MEC of Health. Mm. Health has collapsed. You are going to say it does not absorb him. Yes. But the practical reason is that the man was marginalized through an HOD. So the HOD was almost a pseudo MEC, accounting directly to the former premier and not to the MEC. And that had led to hell to collapse. Let's go to Professor Mukhoro, who you are saying it can't absorb him. Professor Mukhoro was an acting DG shifted as an acting DG and a DG appointed. Who's that DG? It's a former health HOD who was fingered to have corruptly collapsed health as an HOD, then appointed and become a DG. So Professor Mukhoro's appointment and his knowledge of what has happened to the provincial government, in most instances, he might have been there. He has no role what, whatsoever on collapsing the provincial government because the provincial government has centrally been collapsed by the fact that the former premier never accepted any advice. He never accepted to work with anyone who differs with him. That's why I was removed. All right, uh, Mr. Sambata, we are running out of time. In fact, we have run out of time, but I must put this question to you. Professor Mahoro, many are saying, if he is to genuinely turn things around in the Northwest, he has to effect a cabinet reshuffle. Is that something that you, as alliance partners of the ANC, are going to agree with? And will Supra Mahumapilo approve that? When Supra Mahumapilo was reshuffling cabinet at any time he wished, 
He would therefore argue of a prerogative similar to President Zuma. Mm. It can therefore be Supra today and his PEC who argue that Professor Mukhoro can't effect a cabinet change. He's a premier. He has the same prerogative Supra had to effect a change in cabinet. The cabinet of Northwest has to be changed to conform with inclusivity first and conform with appointing people not on the basis of appointing friends. Currently, the cabinet is compromised by friends of the former premier. How soon must that happen, the cabinet reshuffle? It must be done like next week. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for your time. Unfortunately, we are out of time. That was uh, Matota Sambata, the SACP uh, Secretary of the Northwest Province. After the break, analysis and future plans of the newly elected Northwest Premier. <laughs>